Hey y'all, Chris here, AKA Rufo Tris, Rooted Rock Count. And today, well, we went to the beach. So come join me while we look for a couple really cool seashells and rocks and have a good time on a nice warm day. It was really nice to escape the heat and get out of the city air. And it was surprisingly a lot cooler at the beach than we had expected. Obviously there's the ocean air and the water was pretty chilly. It was not quite swimming water and there were not very many people out there swimming. But overall, it was very pleasant to be on the beach and just relax. I did not film a lot today, but there are some little clips here and there, and I will definitely show you all the awesome seashells and rocks that I brought home at the end. So, just enjoy. And hey, look out for that keyword for the giveaway. So at this point I'm walking down the beach alone picking up shells and I just I had to stop and record this little bit listen to the sound of the shells and the waves So anyway, I found that sound to be so relaxing, just listening to the waves crash over the seashells. It was nice, and the people around me were probably like, oh my gosh, look at this kid recording videos for his TikTok or whatever. <laughs> Little did they know it was for YouTube. But aside from walking around looking like a dork recording stuff at the beach, I did find some really cool beach glass. I found a couple pieces, but I gave them to our friend who had invited us, invited us to join him that day. And I did bring home some really cool rocks and shells, which we will take a look at in just a couple more minutes here after a few more little clips of our beach. Day? Beach day. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. So, a little peek at some of the shells before we get to the end, but this one was probably the coolest and my favorite just because of the colors, but it was not very large. However, this is the one that I will keep, and the rest of these are going to be added to my giveaway. I 
had to mute this part for a background conversation, but I found what is maybe some sort of labradorite or in that family of stones. It has a little flash in it, but I could not get it on camera here. It might need a good little polish to reveal it. Alrighty, so we had an absolute blast out here today. Tons of fun, a lot of cool seashells that I found, and I mean, some really cool rocks too, plus one awesome labradorite specimen. Maybe even more when we get home and take a look at them. So I'm gonna get home, clean up some of these rocks, shower off the beach, and uh, show y'all a little bit more here. So, see you back at home. Alrighty, let's take a little peek at these in the UV light and see just how much that black light reveals. That's pretty cool, actually. Got quite a bit of reaction as they are organic. We see that a lot, usually with shells. They have all sorts of glowing reaction in the UV, and these are definitely no exception. We usually get a lot of greens. Definitely some interesting details revealed through the black light on the other side, on both sides actually. Some of them get quite a bit of color revealed in the UV. And it's not very dark here. The sun is out, so I'm trying to hide as much background light as I can. I've got y'all in a little box here. A little shoebox setup. <laughs> but it seems to be working enough. Give you a nice little UV peek at these. Um, yeah, let's get a better look at them in normal light again. Alrighty, so here we've got them in the light, and you can see this one is pretty colorful. When we are all lit up here and not in the dark shoebox anymore, trying to look in the UV. <laughs> but this is the one that I will be keeping. I like it quite a bit. It's got a really nice color to it. And actually, it looked a little different when it was wet. So just for showing it off sake, so get a little wet here show just how pretty that is. Lovely. Okay, take six. Every time I try and record, my dogs start running around or making noise at the fire station, siren starts going off, I just, there's always something. <laughs> so anyway, there's really cool uh, pattern to these, but what I wanted to point out and I thought was interesting while I was picking them up on the beach, I started to notice that, oh, of course I pick up two different halves, the pattern in them is the same. And uh, so look at how this one and this one, the pattern down in here is identical. And it's like that on all the shells. And on the ones that it's the other reverse side, I think that's because they probably went together. Not these exact pieces, but because one was the top and one was the bottom, or one was left-handed and one was right-handed but they have that same pattern in all of them. I mean, I guess they're all just kind of one of those kind of clone species that are all so identical, and that's how we can identify what species it is, is by those, probably those types of identifiers. Anyway, I don't know much about shells and sea life. I just know that these are kind of cool, and they'll make nice little, I don't know, rock dishes, jewelry dishes. And put your earrings in there, your rings and earrings, jewelry. I don't know. I thought people might enjoy these, so I brought a bunch home and we're gonna add them into the giveaway. So everyone who wins a box on the giveaway is gonna get one of these various shells around the perimeter here. I'm keeping that one as I mentioned. And yeah, that's about it for those shells. They're pretty cool. They're awesome in the UV. I'm gonna put this video out before it's gonna be nighttime again, so I'm not gonna have good any more good UV shots for this video, but I'll be sure to show some in the future. Maybe on some of my upcoming lives or another video, we'll do a little recap or something and show them in the UV a bit more. 
but sadly this one wasn't a whole shell, but it was a pretty cool one. So I did choose to bring it home because it had a really nice pattern to it. I liked the look of it. A pretty little spiral. I liked that one a lot. And that one was almost like a cabochon. <laughs> Picked up a few fragments, just the ones that were like really pretty. This one had some nice color to it as well. Nice colorful bit there. I like that shell pattern. That one was pretty cool. So brought home a few pieces. Those might end up in the giveaway. There's this little scallop one here. So I don't see very many of these on the beach. It is missing a little corner down here. But definitely not as many of the nice little scallop shells. You can see all its growth lines. All its little layers. I wonder how many layers it grows, like how rapidly what period of time do you think each of those layers is? Like a week, a month, a season, a warm and cold season? I don't think that scallop is a hundred years old. Cause that's a lot of little lines. <laughs> and then these ones were really cool. I like the shimmer. Look at that really wild pattern. Look at the shimmer. Oh my gosh. It's one thing I love about the shells. And they get that little shimmer effect to them. It's pretty wild looking. Might show a little bit better wet here. So I grabbed a few shells with that little shimmer effect going on. This one was just cool because it had the neat structure to it. Not sure what kind that is. Again, I don't know my species of all this stuff. I just see the critties and I pick them up. And this one was pretty cool too. More of the shimmer effect there. Looks kind of like an ear. A mermaid ear. <laughs> We'll try and take a little look at some of these small ones in the black light as well as some of the rocks before we do wrap it up here. Get this one a little bit wet here. And then now you can really see that shimmer. It's beautiful. Love the shimmery shells. Now for as far as the rocks, it's a lot of the same stuff I get on all the beaches out here. It's, you know, feldspars and quartzes, mixtures of them, some pretty colors, some type of quartzite possibly. That one's cool. Some of them get some types of micas in them. Some of them get all sorts of different inclusions. This one looks like it had a little pocket in there. I wonder if that's got some druzy. This one's got a few pockets. Full of little micro sand bits. Hmm. Might have to clean this one up really well and see what's attached quartz and what's just sand stuck in there. But I saw some pretty colors in some of them. Yeah. I like the grayish ones and the bluish ones and the smoky ones. Ones with the inclusions. 
I don't see very much with inclusions on this beach. There was this one. It's got some little inclusions there. The right, right light, it's got metallic shimmer to those inclusions. You can see there the golden shimmer. See there, looks like mica or something. Little, yeah, right there you can really see like little flaky sheets of it or something. So little bits of like maybe mica flex in there. And yeah, I like the ones with these little floaty inclusions. And then this one's a little calcite. Um, was unlike anything else at the beach there. And it even has a couple little pieces of what looked like the zinc ore. Reminds me of the stuff from New Jersey. The Franklinite. And so I figured we should probably check this one in the black light. And see if it's not actually just like a piece of that New Jersey type fluorescent material. Let's see. So, even in a bit of the daylight, it does maybe have some glow. I can't tell if that's just reflecting the UV and the camera's kind of picking it up as blue, purple, blurple, blurple color. Hmm. Interesting. I might have to check that one out again when it's a little darker. Peek at some of those shells I mentioned or showed before. Hmm, that scallop really glows. Wow, this one glows quite a bit too. This one really pops in the UV. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna leave you all with that and uh, go clean these up a bit more. Get them ready for the giveaway. And I will see you all soon for the next one. Thanks for watching.